She shattered stereotypes about Muslim women before Muslim women even existed. She was the pure, the wise, the beautiful, Khadija, the daughter of Khuwaylid, and she is one of the most influential and greatest women the world has ever known. Have you heard of her? A successful businesswoman in Arabia, she would send her merchants to buy and sell along the trade routes to Syria. There would be a merchant who worked for her and was younger than her, named Muhammad. She was a woman who had been married twice before, but the love of her life was still around the corner. They would marry and for 15 years live a life of comfort and respect in the city of Mecca. Until a terrifying ordeal happened to her husband. He would regularly retreat to worship in solitude outside of the city. But on this occasion, he came back frightened and alarmed. He had an experience with the angel Gabriel and was told that he was a prophet. He had no idea what that meant and did not know what to do. But she did. She took him to her cousin, Waraka, a Christian scholar who told Muhammad that he was the awaited prophet, the comforter. The elderly man, Waraka, said, If only I had some life remaining in me, I would support you with everything I had. The elderly man passed away shortly after. But Khadija lived, and that is exactly what she did. She supported her husband with her wealth even as the city turned on him. She supported him with her praise even as the city mocked him. She was his anchor when the curses and threats of idolaters rained down on them. And she never wavered from his side, even as their life transformed from luxury, respect and comfort to persecution, boycott and slander. She was the first believer in Islam and the first believer in Muhammad. Her faith was immediate and unwavering. And though the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would outlive her for 13 years and remarry, he never forgot her and would jump if he heard her sister's voice because it sounded like hers and would distribute gifts to her friends out of his timeless love for her and would say, I was gifted her love.